Hi guys, I'm Ryan Robinson and this is a comparison of the Mono Guitar Sleeve and the Mono Vertigo Guitar Cases. So I recently needed to get myself a new gig bag. Uh, I've been using my previous one for the last 8-10 to 10 years and at the bottom the strap pin had eaten a hole in the bottom of the case and the sharp string ends had eaten a hole in the top of the case so I really needed to get myself a new one. So I've been looking at Mono Cases for a little while and uh, quite a few people I knew had them and I thought they looked great. Uh, so I decided that I would get myself a mono case. The problem was I couldn't decide between their flagship model, the Vertigo, or the new guitar sleeve model because I actually quite like a, a lightweight guitar case. Um, so because I couldn't decide, um, I thought probably a lot of other people would be in that same situation as me. So I thought I'd do a quick comparison video of the two. So I think the main differences between these two cases can be summed up in three points. Price, protection and purpose. So price. At the time of me making this video, uh, depending where you look online, the guitar sleeve in the UK sells for around £100 and the Vertigo sells for around £150 to £160. So there's about a £50 or £60 difference in price between the two cases. Um, so what does that extra money buy you? So that brings me on to my next point, which is protection. So protection. Protection is undoubtedly the main difference between these two cases. Um, so if we have a look at the more affordable guitar sleeve to begin with, I've already put my guitar in here so you can see how it fits inside. Um, so it's lined with this nice plush material so it won't scratch the finish of your guitar as it's going in and out. Um, we've also got this really hard wearing sort of plasticky material um, which uh, if you have sharp string ends on the headstock uh, it shouldn't eat through that in the same way that it did on my previous case and as you can see I've been using this case for nearly a month now and there's, there's very little wear if any wear at all on that so that's great uh, and there's also the headlock which is this cushioned insert which grips the, the neck and headstock as it's in transit when you do it up it's obviously gripped in there um, so both of these cases have this headlock and I think it's a great feature because obviously if you drop your case uh, accidentally on the ground like that, then uh, you shouldn't get a broken neck and uh, it, it will protect the headstock and neck, so, so that's a great feature. Um, the other thing which you can't see is on the inside of this case, at the bottom down here, there is a padded insert with a little notch cut out of it so that your strap button can slip inside it. Um, so that will protect against the strap button eating through the inside of the case as I had with my previous case. Um, but if I just make sure that I show you the bottom of the case. Um, there's no padding as such except on the inside but I, I feel that it is well protected in there and you know, I can drop on the ground and feel quite happy with that doing that. It's not going to damage the guitar because of the padded insert with the strap button. So if we compare that to the Vertigo case, so if I open it up, so as you can see it's lined with the same plush material to protect the finish and it has the same uh, string protective material here so that it won't eat through the case and we also have the headlock uh, here as well. But as you can see this one is a lot larger and also in two parts so that if I put my guitar into this case So as I say, they're both top loading. So there you go. So with the guitar inside the case, the headstock and neck go into the headlock like that. And then when you fasten the case, then obviously this top portion will cup over the top of it and you have protection from both sides. Um, so as you can see as well, the, the extra level of protection with this case is from the side. You've got this nice side impact protection all the way around which you don't have with the guitar sleeve um, and this also has exactly the same inner lining with the strap notch button cut out so that it won't eat through the inside of the case to the outside. Now the other thing which this case has which the other does not, if I lift it up and show you, is what they're calling the boot. So this big rubber padded section on the bottom so as I bounce this guitar on the ground, it's protected by the insert on the inside of the case. Now this case also has that, but it also has this massive, great big rubber protective boot on the bottom as well. So this one, 
really is protected and there's no problem at all with that hitting the ground like that um, so your guitar is completely protected so as you can see the level of protection with the vertigo is substantially more than with the guitar sleeve and that's what the extra 50 or 60 pounds buys you so whether you want that extra level of protection or not really comes down to my final point which is purpose so purpose, what I mean by that is what you're going to use the guitar case for. Um, so over the last month, I actually used both of these cases for two weeks each in real world situations just to find out how they both compared. Um, I took them to gigs, I took them to rehearsals, I took them to teach guitar students. Pretty much everything that I would use my guitar for on a day-to-day -day basis, I used both of these cases for to find out how they compared. Um, so the guitar sleeve is obviously the lighter and thinner of the two. So I'd recommend this to someone who is travelling to a set place or travelling not too far, for example. Um, if you're playing a gig in your hometown or if you were putting your guitar in the back of a car or if you wanted to walk with it on foot, um, then this would probably be the better option because it's lighter and easier to carry for that reason. Um, the shoulder straps are also very comfortable. I actually wore this on my back for an hour one day around town and I genuinely forgot I was wearing a guitar on my back. Um, because the straps were that comfortable. Uh, I couldn't say that my previous case, they, they really dug into my shoulders, so, so that's obviously really good um, for that. So this would be better if you're travelling on foot or in a car, or anywhere you don't need that extra level of protection, because uh, your guitar will be well protected, but still quite lightweight and easy to travel with. The Vertigo, on the other hand, obviously has the extra protection so anything where your guitar might uh, take a knock, perhaps if you're travelling to and from a gig in the back of a van uh, and your guitar is just going to be thrown in there with some heavy equipment that has the extra impact protection on the front and sides, uh, obviously the boot on the bottom as well, um, so that will protect it from that. And also if you're travelling by plane, um, then I would trust my guitar going in the hold in this case, because uh, of obviously all the extra protection but not so much with the guitar sleeve, I would probably trust it to this. Um, so which one is better for your situation is kind of up to you to decide, uh, but they're both great for many different applications and they can both be used for the same applications as I found out as well. Um, it's just that some are slightly easier to travel with than others um, depending on the weight that you're planning to carry. So one other small point I should probably mention is about storage. Um, they both have roughly the same storage. Uh, the, the pocket is roughly the same size, I would say. Uh, on the Vertigo, it has a nice high quality zip and you load it from the top. Um, and it also has a small webbed pocket on the inside as well for any small loose items like plectrums or tremolo arms, anything like that. Um, on the guitar sleeve, it has this buckle, which can be a bit fiddly sometimes to undo, but it slides out like that. Um, and it opens from the side. It also has a small little webbed pocket as well, the same as the Vertigo. Um, and the only other thing I'd say with this buckle as well, is that when you're refastening it, as this is a sharp edge, um, sometimes, if you're not using it at the right angle, you can kind of get it caught in the middle but it's something that you get used to pretty quickly and you kind of get the knack for undoing it pretty quickly so it's not that big of a problem. So I hope that comparison has been helpful to you um, and helped some of you decide between these two cases like I needed to. Um, I think I personally prefer the guitar sleeve out of the two just because it's slimmer in profile and a little bit lighter weight, easier for my applications. Um, although I will be using the Vertigo as well uh, perhaps when I need to travel abroad with my guitar or when I need that extra level of protection. Please feel free to leave me any comments below and I'll do my best to get back to you and please check out the Mono website for any more information on their products.